All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is our friend right here, Sneeko. He is uh, very red-pilled, very uh, outlandish, very over-the-top hyped, uh, uh, extremely, extremely, uh, what would you say, like radical opinions on things uh, for content, right? Like these people uh, probably don't behave this way generally in public, right? But it goes very, very viral on TikTok. Uh, and so he does a lot of things that piss a lot of people off, uh, and including this. So if you don't uh, get the context clues here, he's making fun of Islam and how people pray, uh, which got a lot of backlash, right? As you can kind of expect when you mock any religion, right? Uh, or for the most part, right? Uh, but he decided to backpedal really, really quickly after this went viral. Uh, talking she, about it on context. here. When so let's see. Sneeko receives death threats. We watch it in that context. It seems bad. For a lot of people don't even understand what's going on. A lot of them don't care. Chad, this is not just going to be an apology stream. I have stuff to react to, but I want to clear this up. Because a lot of people are very angry at me. Um, a lot of Ahmeds and Mohammeds are in my DMs. Um, and they're, they're very, they're, I'm getting a lot of death threats personally. Um, Ooh. Islamic people take their religion Ooh. very seriously. They're told to defend their religion. If people are mocking it, then they're told to act in violence. And so I'm getting a lot of people, um, sending me death threats. <laughs> if I'm being per like, perfectly honest, <laughs> you giant fucking pussy, which is pretty regular, but I've never this many, and especially from my own fan base. So, and then the backpedaling continues right here on YouTube as well. We have another video where he uh, spends three minutes talking about the situation. And honestly, people make fun of Christianity all the time. People make fun of Jewish people. People make fun of religions. It's what happens on the internet, right? And if you're that butthurt over an internet guy mocking your religion, then you should probably get off the internet, right? This is a chronically online behavior. Uh, and this gentleman here as well, Sneeko, is also very chronically online and should probably go outside once in a while. But let's oh, he wants this. to collab with you? Okay. Tell me DM me on Twitter. Juan said, you don't know an apology. Muslims uh, shouldn't walk around thinking they're scared. Everybody's free to talk about it. If they feel so insecure about criticism, they got stuff to hide. I'm not going to go. Exactly, right? Like that comment said, you don't owe an, anybody an apology. You did what you did, right? Stick by what you've done. Uh, stand up for yourself, right? You're an alpha male. You're a strong, big man. You know, you're willing to talk about all these social issues, these public issues, etc., etc. You're willing to make jokes and then backpedal really quickly when the, when the, when the heat in the kitchen gets too hot. Like death threats over DMs, dude. Nobody's hurting you. Nobody's doing anything to you. You're just a big fucking baby, right? Like, go that far and say that. Juan said that. Um, See, look at we'll this guy. Have a conversation tomorrow. Juan said that. There are Muslims that represent Islam too, by the way. And Muslims do feel right. Honestly, you're human. You can make mistakes. All Muslims do. Thank you, man. That's what I thought. I thought God is forgiving. I thought Allah is forgiving. If you stop joking on Islam and keep clowning Christianity, it shows cowardice and not being a man of principle. Exactly. If you if you stop joking on Islam but keep planning Christianity, it shows cowardice, and that's one hundred percent the truth, right? It is completely socially acceptable to go on there and you know clown Catholics and Christians and and other religions and stuff, but Islam is where it's a problem. Then you're an Islamophobic. Uh, what about Christian phobic or Catholic phobic or? Uh, I mean, I guess there's anti-Semitic things that you can say to get canceled as well. But at the end of the day, this is just bizarre. This is ridiculous. And Stiko's a giant fucking... Well, the difference is yeah. Christian people don't really care. Christian yes, people they have do. no they absolutely rules like that. Do you care. can clown on Christianity all the time. No, people have, I've heard about party chat where girls are going like, yeah, I'm going to twerk for Jesus. And they're going to twerk for Jesus party. And it's like Jesus with a... Yeah, and Mia Khalifa did a uh, an adult video with a hijab on, right? And like, I can search right now on the hub and find 50 other uh, brown women with hijabs on that are getting absolutely plowed by, you know, some white cock, right? I mean, there's bad apples in every religion, right? And I'm saying bad apples loosely, like Mia Khalifa's coochie, but god damn. Gay pride flag. Jesus is gay. They walk around with those t-shirts. And I mean, yeah, some Christians and some people of religions, even uh, Muslims and people who, who follow Islam and stuff will uh, accept you know, homosexuals as well. I've seen it online, uh, not in practice or in person. I haven't, uh, more so with Christianity, accepting gay people and the LGBTQ community, but there's going to be haters of, of the gays in any religion regardless. Right. And there's going to be people who support it in any, re in any religion. And there's going to be people who are like completely neutral in every religion, maybe because people are different and you're just, again, a giant fucking pussy. Islamic people would never tolerate that.
And I, I do respect that, that they are, they really hold that to a high standard. In Islam, obedience is, obedience of the law is, of the land is a religious duty. People sending you death threats and wanting to kill you are not real Muslim. Um, I'm not going to go far and say that, but maybe that's true. Even Diaz says you can, um, if you can, you may check out a video may control you. Some people will hate you no matter what. It sucks when they lie, but you have your fans who will support you. Keep your head up. Thank you. Sometimes it doesn't seem, chat, I'm going to be honest. I read, um, I re I'm online all the time, almost every, all day, every day on every platform. And I'm like go. a Chronically big topic online. of discussion and everything on fucking Instagram, on Twitter, on Reddit, on YouTube comments. I see, and uh, most of what I read is like stuff like this. I'm going to be honest. Like this guy's going to get boxed. Ooh. As a Muslim, I'm not offended by this. I'm worried about the spiritual consequences for, of this. 800 Ooh, likes the spiritual consequences so even like let's say islam is like the the one religion out of the billions and millions out there uh that happens to be the right one to follow or whatever and then he gets the spiritual consequences would that not at the end of the day still you know be forgiven because god is forgiving from my understanding right i don't know damn i wish i could Maybe catch not. this man one day he going to sleep like I know you're saying this now, but like a lot of stuff I read online, I'm like, bro, do people really even, <laughs> I know it's stupid to say now, I'm not trying to make victimize myself, but yes, I, I read are. a lot of fucking negative stuff about me. I ain't gonna... You're absolutely the victim. You're, you're completely victimizing yourself. You're a completely whiny little boy, uh, with a problem for sitting inside all the time, constantly, right? Like this is ridiculous. He talks tough on podcasts. He talks tough in other videos. He talks tough on all these other situations. Uh, he's willing to go tooth and nail to fight women to the death, but, uh, Islam, that's the problem. Chad, I should probably just tune it out. Or that that's too far, sorry. <clears throat> I should probably just tune it out. I know that. <sighs> Thank you for the fifty. He said I'm Muslim, I take pride in huge pride of being one. I know you have no ill intention to this online, you're on the right road, don't lose sight much love, bro. I think I already, I already read this one. But yeah, thanks for the fifty, appreciate you again. Professional hate ass nigga says, this mean you're going- Oh, speaking of $50, uh, there's a super thanks button, uh, down underneath Sneeko. You guys could send me $50 too. To forego, you could joke about everything idea, yup. Does this mean you're gonna forego the you can joke about everything idea? Yup, yup, yup. Instantly backpedaling when he gets death threats over Islam, like, you giant coward. You literally can joke about anything. If your intent is to be a comedian, you can absolutely joke about anything. Right. Uh, you, you thought it was funny. You intended it to be funny. I'm sure some people found it funny. You know, I'm sure some people didn't just like most jokes, right? If you're like, Oh, that child that got murdered, like obviously some people are going to find that awful. Right. And some people are going to find that funny. Or if you're like abortions are just uh jelly sandwiches or something, obviously people are going to find that funny. Some people aren't right. You know, it, it's just the way it is. Don't backpedal now. You giant fucking, I guess, I guess I have to forego that. You cannot joke about it waste you can't joke about it it's waste man. creator but El Cico. What happened, uh, it's charlie hebdo charlie hebdo was a, a french magazine talking about this and um yeah you, you can't you can't just certain things you just can't joke about it's so that's completely incorrect there's everything you can joke about and everything is free reign uh and you know letting yourself get canceled over over death threats in your dms is probably the biggest l move i've ever seen but that's it what a giant fucking loser I don't know, like maybe he's he's terrified of being beheaded or something.